Two Brazilians fighting it out for a spot in the last heat of the contest. It's Adriano de Souza and Gabriel Medina. If de Souza can move through this clash into the final, he'll reclaim the Jeep leader's jersey. Medina, well, everyone's got him pegged for a victory here. His form has been undeniable throughout the rounds. He's got the highest heat score total of the event. He's got a 10 point ride. He's back. But here is the worrying signs for, for Medina. He has a shocking head-to-head -head record against De Souza. He's never beaten him, not even in a three-man heat. And Adriano will take plenty of confidence out of that history. That's wild. You know. Adriano, he's semi-finaled here in the past, but this man, his track record at the Quicksilver Pro France is mind-blowing. Quick couple of snaps there for Gabriel. Third one there, man. That was on the money and just poked the nose. Couldn't hang on. Adriano de Souza looking for a nice shock right there, but that wave had some chandeliers. There's that southeast wind trying to show its teeth just a little bit. Caught it again and already into the semis. So this is really his pet event. As we see some movement, it's de Souza. He's found an A-frame. This thing is holding open. He gets the exit. Let's see if he can add some points on the open face just hangs on to a tricky floating re-entry to finish that right off. So I thought... Decent right there. Scores in from the uh, opening exchange. Medina had a 3.83. Let's have another look at De Souza's right. See that right arm dragging against the wall. He's trying to wipe speed off so that he can get deep in the barrel. Got really disconnected on that off lip, but as Adriano does, plants it, rides out of it. But overall, you know, definitely not in my eyes, going to be an excellent score, but it's decent. You can see Adriano de Souza running. Looks like he's he's going to reset, paddling straight to the beach. Not looking for a backup on this ride. He's Might just making his way in. Maybe a board change. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could be a board change, or maybe he's trying to reposition. But I'd be surprised if it wasn't a board change. Well, Medina still has has priority out the back. His fifth year on the championship tour already has collected five cha championship tour victories. Adriano de Souza with the same amount of event wins, but twice as long. So now he's going to reposition himself as Gabby finds a little corner. Nope. So the, the, the sweep, the current is ripping from north to south. So Adriano hopping on the ski, which he's able to do, and he's moving himself a good maybe 100 yards up so they can get on the top of the sandbar and you know, sort of hunt for waves up there and come back down with the current. Well, his 20th career semi-final appearance. A pretty solid record at getting through these semi-final heats. I wonder, you know, he's gonna, he has to be curious and itchy to kind of join him up there. And this during the interview, Adriano de Souza tucking into this little pit, stalling for the tube. Not a huge wave, but just gets that cover. Only looking to improve on a... Is it a three? Is he, a 1.33 he was trying to drop, so... He gets a three on the board, I believe. Yeah, we heard Bead... You can see just how uh, shallow it is out there at the moment. He hop on, Ronnie. Looks like Gabby might have hopped on the ski. Yep, he's going to go ahead and join Adriano up there on the north. And I think that's a smart call. Well, all the competitors remaining in both the Quicksilver and Roxy Pro have shown us they can get it done in the bigger stuff through the earlier rounds, in the smaller stuff, in the four-foot range. They've been barrel, barrel riding well. The turns on the open face have been strong. And De Souza is up once again, starting to unleash that backhand that I spoke about earlier. Some wakes right there on that last maneuver, which was a little bit of a bummer for Adriano, but clean surfing. I love those first couple of maneuvers. Well, here we go. This is Gabriel with a neat looking corner. This wave is looking nice as he looks to take to the air, throws the backside air reverse. A wild looking turn. Not your typical approach to the lip, really had to project out of the pocket. Uh, but that ramp was non existent, so he basically just popped out to the flats. So I think right here he's thinking, I gotta go big. I'm gonna go for an air, but that section you can see he got kind of hindered by that lip line. It was there in his way, so he had to pop out to the flats. So pretty amazing that he was able to produce an air right there, but it was always a little bit on the funky side. 
Uh, but nonetheless, you know, this is not a high scoring heat. 6.83. There's the pop. 4.17 for Adriano. So, again, this is going to be another battle of those medium scores. Well, here he goes. This is Medina. He's deep in the barrel. Not going to find his way through this one. It's funny, we've been talking about throughout the event about looking into waves and how it kind of takes some of that critical nature out of the, the maneuvers, but Medina's backside air actually looked better looking into mm -hmm. it because he kind of projected forwards as opposed to projecting above the lip, waiting on that number to drop, and it's going to be interesting to see. And the number is coming through, and it drops at a 5.67. So Medina gets his best score. He's now looking for a 5.34 to jump into the lead with just under 11 minutes to go. If he's going to start turning around his dreaded history against De Souza in head-to-head -head matchups. One thing I love about Gabriel Medina is he is so tenacious. He will hunt waves until he finds a score. But at the moment, Adriano is just doing a better job of finding the corners out here. Really commits to that last turn. But again, it's not going to be a massive number. He sort of nursed the first maneuver in order to set up that second turn. But it was a strong finish. Here we go. This is Medina looking for his best ride. He tucks into the barrel. Clean style. Will he find the exit? He does get through. Wow. And now he puts his board on rail and bashes the lip. Easily the best wave of this heat so far. And he's still going. So really looking to add some big points now and gets a solid finish. Again, I think we're just seeing the excitement of connecting with a decent wall and a wave that just offered some real points because Medina, you can see, he's had the form. He's had a couple of okay waves prior to this, but this is easily the best wave we've seen in ages. Well, this is another golden ticket right here. I mean, that was an absolute smoking wave. Beautiful pit there, nice and deep. Got pretty darn deep on that. I mean, that was not a token little barrel there. He got nice way back behind the curtain probably had to deal with the foam ball a little bit so you know more than just your average little tube ride this morning that was the best bro we've seen so far today uh you know this score is going to go huge so you know right now gabriel medina we knew he was hunting out there but that doesn't mean that you're always going to hook up with a nice wave but you know it paid off for him that time expect a big number to drop for the surfer in blue only needs a 5.34 to jump into the lead the Sousa's certainly not going to be out of it. But have a look at this thing. Yeah, right there. You can see he was. He was totally attached to the foam ball inside the barrel. So, uh, you know, the judges will realize how committed it was, how difficult it was to navigate through that barrel. And then he finished it off with a series of snaps. Those were clean. Might have been the highest scoring wave of the heat without the tube. But uh, it is coming through. And you can see it there on your screen, a 10-point ride for Gabriel Medina. So the judges loving how deep he was in the tube, loving that variation out on the open face. And now Adriano de Souza, wow. he's searching for an 8.85, but Medina getting his second 10-point ride of the contest, his highest heat score total of the year in this contest. As we see, the current world number two, he finds a corner but falls on that first maneuver. Five minutes remaining now. As Medina looks to tap into the barrel once again. And he's driving through this barrel. He's super deep. He won't find an exit. That one just reeled off way too fast. Five oh. minutes to go. I was looking. I, my eyeballs were scanning through that barrel. I thought for a second maybe he'd crawl past that foam ball and make it to that next section. But that way it was just a little too fast for Gabriel. Adriano just got the longest hold down for a duck dive but have a look at the replay it looks like we're back in Fiji there's Medina just running through the pit had a good line but just got eaten up by that foam ball Ross that's just Murphy's law as soon as we uh, put it on hold for this afternoon guys start getting tens and the waves start firing welcome to France you know the conditions always changing 30 seconds remaining and De Souza is just way down the north end of the sandbar searching for a score and he's going to take this one with 20 seconds to go he's looking for an 8.85 you can see the form he's been surfing so well he rides out of that air reverse that is a man that can perform under pressure but with 10 seconds to go i don't know if there was enough size in that ride ross 
I, I mean, I, I really liked it. I, I love in the way Adriano is doing what he wants on the wave right now. He is so in control. His surfboard looks amazing. Three great maneuvers there. A lot of pop in that air reverse, too. We are just saying how Adriano might be a little underrated with aerials. That was a nice display. Well, we're waiting on scores to drop. We saw Adriano throw a shocker in Gabriel's direction. Well, let's have another look at it. Small wave blitzes it. Tag that first little off the lip. Just a quick snap till he pops that air right there. Beautiful air reverse. So again, you know, I'm with you. This is not going to be the score he needs, but just a little statement saying, "Hey, I'm switched on." He'll be in, he'll be ready in Portugal. Agreed. Yeah, when you get a wave that's you know well overhead and it's a big throaty barrel, it's tough to grab a big score with a shoulder high wave with turns. It's just how it is. It's the tough thing about surfing uh, these beach breaks is once someone gets that big barrel, you can't go back. Well, semi-final two is a wrap. Gabriel Medina had a 10 and a 5.67 as he's scoring rides. And in the final stages, Adriano de Souza needed an 8.85. The score coming through, a 5.67, not enough. And de Souza, he'll stay in the number two position. Mick Fanning will still be the Jeep ratings leader going into Portugal. And the final will be decided between Gabriel Medina and B. Dervidge. In 2015, there are the heat score totals for you on screen. Solid performances by both competitors. Quality of waves, the difference in the end. And Medina getting the job done.